Welcome, dear students. Let's proceed from here. Module 4 C Listening. 4 C What's cooking? 2 Listening. A Listen to June telling her friend Donna the recipe for a Peruvian dish called Kausa and complete Donna's notes below. Hello. Hi, June. How are things? Not too bad. And you? Well, I need some help. I'm having some friends over for dinner tomorrow and I have no idea what to cook. And you know me. I'm not the best chef in the world. What about Kausa? It's a Peruvian dish. Sounds a bit exotic. I hope it's not too difficult and doesn't need ingredients I don't have. Don't worry. It's very simple. And it's not exactly the way they make it in Peru. It's my recipe. I made it the other day and it turned out lovely. Do you have a pen? Yeah. Go on. Right. You need about a kilo of potatoes. OK. You also need a tin of tuna, some mayonnaise and a small onion. Tuna, mayonnaise and an onion. OK. So what do I do? First, you peel and boil the potatoes. Then you mash them with some oil. Olive oil? Yeah, or vegetable oil. Also, add some lemon juice and some salt and pepper to the mash and leave it aside. What next? Chop up the onion, put it in a bowl and mix it with the tuna and some mayonnaise. How much mayonnaise? About a cup. Don't put too much, it won't be nice. Yeah, and it's not very healthy. That's true. Finally, you take a dish and spread some mayonnaise on the bottom. Then add a layer of mashed potato. Next, add a layer of the tuna mayonnaise mix. Finally, add another layer of mashed potato on top. That's easy. I know, and it's delicious. Then, put it in the fridge for a while to cool. That's it? Yeah. Oh, and don't forget to add some olives or boiled egg slices for decoration before you serve it. Lovely. What's it called again? Causa. C-A-U-S-A. I know a very nice Peruvian salad recipe, too. Hold on, let me get more paper. Okay, now uh, the receipt, the ingredients for this receipt, one kilogram of potatoes, one tin of tuna and mayonnaise, one small onion, vegetable or olive uh, oil, then lemon juice, salt and pepper, olives and boiled egg slices. دي المكونات او المقادير اللي مطلوبه للطبق اللي هيعمله 1 كيلو جرام اوف بوتيتوز 1 تن اوف تونا مايونيز 1 سمول انيون فيجيتابل اور اوليف اويل زيت الزيتون ليمون جوس سالت اند بيبر اوليفز اند بويلد ايج سلايسز ناو ليسن اجين ريد ذا انستراكشنز بلو اند رايت تي فور ترو اور اف فور فالس نمبر 1 Boil the potatoes with the onions. Look at menu. Gali the potatoes with the onions. You will see T or F. Two mash the potatoes with some oil. Three mix the tuna with the mayonnaise and the eggs. Four make layers of mashed potato and tuna mayonnaise mix. Five decorate the slices of lemon. Now listen and decide which are uh, which of the sentences are true and which are false. B. Listen again, read the instructions below and write T for true or F for false. Hello. Hi June. How are things? Not too bad. And you? Well, I need some help. I'm having some friends over for dinner tomorrow and I have no idea what to cook. And you know me. I'm not the best chef in the world. What about Kausa? It's a Peruvian dish. Sounds a bit exotic. I hope it's not too difficult and doesn't need ingredients I don't have. Don't worry. It's very simple. And it's not exactly the way they make it in Peru. It's my recipe. I made it the other day and it turned out lovely. Do you have a pen? Yeah. Go on. 
Right. You need about a kilo of potatoes. Okay. You also need a tin of tuna, some mayonnaise, and a small onion. Tuna, mayonnaise, and an onion. Okay. So what do I do? First, you peel and boil the potatoes. Then you mash them with some oil. Olive oil? Yeah, or vegetable oil. Also, add some lemon juice and some salt and pepper to the mash and leave it aside. What next? Chop up the onion, put it in a bowl, and mix it with the tuna and some mayonnaise. How much mayonnaise? About a cup. Don't put too much; it won't be nice. Yeah, and it's not very healthy. That's true. Finally, you take a dish and spread some mayonnaise on the bottom. Then add a layer of mashed potato. Next, add a layer of the tuna mayonnaise mix. Finally, add another layer of mashed potato on top. That's easy. I know, and it's delicious. Then put it in the fridge for a while to cool. That's it. Yeah. Oh, and don't forget to add some olives or boiled egg slices for decoration before you serve it. Lovely. What's it called again? Causa. C a u s a. And a very nice Peruvian salad recipe too. Hold on. Let me get more paper. Number one, boil the potatoes with the onions. That's false. The right uh, answer is peel and boil the potatoes. Okay. Two, mash the potatoes with some oil. That's true. Here we have the text. Then you mash them with some oil. Three, mix the tuna with some mayonnaise and the eggs. Now chop up the onion, put it in the boil, and mix it with the tuna and some mayonnaise. So this answer is false. Four, make layers of mashed potato and tuna mayonnaise mix. I think that's also true. Add layer of mashed potato. Next, add layer of the tuna mayonnaise mix, and finally add another layer of mashed potato on top. That's also true. Five. Decorate with slices of lemon. Here, don't forget to add some olives and boiled eggs slices for decoration. Decoration needs some olives, some olives, boiled eggs, and slices of for decoration. That's false. Next. B. Read the receipt below and put the pictures in the correct order. Write one, two, eight. Biscuit chocolate roll. We are going to make biscuit chocolate roll. Ingredients: three hundred grams of biscuits, one fifty gram butter, uh, six teaspoons of sugar. Six unsweetened cocoa powder and two fresh egg. Listen to the receipt and then put the pictures in the right order. Attractive instructions: one, melt the butter, but be careful not to cook it. Two, put the butter in a bowl, add the sugar and the eggs, and whisk. Three. Slowly add the cocoa powder and whisk some more. Four. Put the biscuits in a large bowl and break them with the back of a spoon. Five. Pour the mixture into the bowl with the biscuit crumbs and stir until it is mixed well. Six. Place this mixture on a piece of aluminium foil and shape it into a roll. Seven. Wrap it up in the aluminium foil and put it in the fridge for a couple of hours. Eight. Slice your biscuit chocolate roll and serve it with coffee or tea. Now, the order is two, four, three, five, six, eight, one, seven. Number one, G, melt the butter, 
but be careful not to cut it. Two, A, put the butter in a bowl, add the sugar and the eggs and whisk. Put the butter in a bowl, add the sugar and the eggs in a whisk. Three, C, slowly add the cocoa powder and whisk some more. Four, B, put the biscuits in a large bowl and prick them with the back of a spoon. With the back of your spoon. Five, D, fold the mixture into the bowl with the biscuits uh, uh, crumbs and stir it until it mixed well. Six, picture E, place this mixture on a piece of aluminum foil and shape it into a roll like that roll seven wrap it up in an aluminum foil and put in the fridge for a couple of hours seven eight slice your biscuit chocolate and serve it with coffee or tea, or tea. that's all for now thanks see you later goodbye